The mother of a teenage Maryville girl who alleged sexual assault has become national news released new evidence in that case today. Yeah, but the secretly recorded audio files Melinda Coleman said would prove her daughter's case might just make things more confusing. Our Garrett Hake has been following the story since the beginning and joins us now live in the newsroom. And Garrett, you've been busy listening to those tapes. What exactly is on them? Well, on the first recording, we hear Melinda Coleman arguing that she and her daughter never backed off their desire to help prosecute the case. Take a listen to this. Yes, that's my opinion. You were always willing to testify. In fact, I didn't even know about the first deposition. Now, that's exactly what she told us last night, too. So what's really interesting about these tapes is what we don't hear, in this case, any other voices. Now, Coleman says this conversation took place with the prosecuting attorney after charges were dropped, possibly as late as May. But in the 86-second tape, we don't hear from him or from anyone else. Now, I can tell you that just within the last few minutes, we've received another batch of audio tapes that do appear to show some conversation about strategy in the case between Coleman and the prosecuting attorney. I'm going to run back and continue to listen to those, but all this just continues to underscore the challenge that a, pro a special prosecutor will face as they look into this case and face this mountain of evidence. For now, live in the newsroom, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.